Well, the Hall of Fame ceremony should focus from football to enshrinement. That means orange and blue taking over Canton, Ohio. Michael Spencer has been there for us, and that Michael, great tribute. Well, Karen, today was all about honoring Pat Boland's legacy as we await his enshrinement tomorrow night. And, of course, we know in Colorado that Boland had an affinity for the Boys and Girls Clubs. Of course, the Broncos have their own Boys and Girls Club in Northeast Denver. Well, today, five of, Pat's, five of Pat's children visited one of the Boys and Girls Clubs here in Northeast Ohio. They donated a bench in his honor. That bench has the Broncos logo and a plaque of Mr. B on it. Earlier in the day, the Boland kids also got a a surprise of their own. The class of 2019 announcing a donation to the Hall of Fame in Pat's honor. So in addition to his bust and the display, which will be in the Hall of Fame, Pat's name will now be added to the wall of donors here at the Hall, a gesture that was surprising and meaningful to the Bolin family. I just thought, I think we all thought how special that was, that they were making a donation on behalf of the class of 2019. But when they announced that it was in honor of our father, uh, there wasn't a dry eye among us, that's for sure. Mr. B is so underrated. And I think, you know, anything we do for him is just not enough. And the more we can do for him and honor his name, we have to do those things. And that donation actually being led by Kevin Mawai, who's one of the enshrinees of the class of 2019. A fantastic, another fantastic honor, I should say, for Pat Boland. Coming up in sports, more on the emotion that the Boland children are feeling as their father gets set to be enshrined into the Pro Football Hall of Fame tomorrow. And we'll hear from Champ Bailey about why the gravity of this weekend has yet to hit the former Broncos star. Yeah, we'll look forward to that, Michael. Thank you.